Hey guys, I thought I'd make a video on Arc Server Manager for the 2021 update. Um, I thought it'd be appropriate to do it now, just so it's the beginning of the year. And uh, there's some changes to it. Some people have questions about it, uh, etc. So I'm going to just get right into it. <clears throat> so I'm going to make a new profile and just name it test1. And I'm going to name test1 for everything. So I'm going to do the server name server password admin password so then we can go to command prompt and you're going to type IP config here and you're going to want to get your Ethernet or wireless doesn't matter but you're going to need your IPv4 address of your machine so you're just probably going to be 192.168.1. some number and you're going to want to take this or well, you're not going to take it but you want to find this address in your list of local IPs. It's probably only going to be one, but if you have some um, Hyper-V stuff, you might have another one, but you're probably only going to have your Ethernet adapter. So I'm going to pick the one, uh, 1.254. Then you'll have two ports here. Keep those the exact same. Don't change them. Uh, then the map, you need the DLC to play on whatever map you're going to play on. So I'm going to keep it the island. So if you're going to play on Extinction, make sure you have the Extinction DLC or you won't be able to join the island. Uh, I'm just going to pick the island. So another thing, um, it's real quick, but if this doesn't work for you, oh, sorry, not that, this. Now, this doesn't work sometimes. It might not work for me. Uh, with the mods because I've asked I've heard people ask about the mods Did that give me an error it's giving me an error I can hear it so um, to way to get past this is I usually go on to here and I go to the community workshop and go to arc and wherever mod you see I usually try to find the mod ID and copy and paste this it's usually in the description somewhere and if you just paste it here and you click uh, update it'll start downloading the mod for you and it'll say finish upgrade now if you have more than one you want to comma separate them so you do comma and then you paste the next number etc so make sure you have a comma between mods but right now I'm gonna keep it as just the resource stack mod just to show you it's working all right that's just a little sidetrack thing but i wanted to make sure people knew how to do that and once we're done with this then uh yeah so we can save this and then we can start installing the server now it's going to look like it's just going to sit here on this white screen with three things but um, this doesn't pop up, but in the in the taskbar, there is a Steam uh, process going, and it's actually the uh, Steam CMD that's installing the server. So you can look at this if you want. This took me like 10 minutes, maybe 15 minutes last time I did it. So it does take a minute. Um, but while we're sitting here, I'm actually going to open a new edge window if I can all right and uh, we can go to this command prompt again and if you do let me control C this clear but if you do IP config one more time and go back to your IP address there should be a default gateway this is your um, router's IP address. Now I have two IP or two um, two routers. I actually have one in my room and then one that goes down to the main router. So I'm not going to be using this one to access my actual router. So I have mine's 192.168.1.1. That's usually what people's is, but it also could be .0.1. So make sure you check out what IP address is your default gateway because we need to get to that. So once we're here, I'm just going to do 192.168. I'm going to log into my router real quick. Off screen. 
and <clears throat> okay so I'm gonna go to my WAN tab down here now it's gonna be different for people but I'm gonna show you the basic kind of route so usually it's WAN because we're port forwarding to the internet now if I go to virtual port forwarding I have two entries for Arc Server and Arc Query. Now it's going to be port 27015 and port 7777. Now, if you add a profile, the service name is optional. You can just name it whatever you want. But the thing that really matters is that I use both protocols, so TCP and UDP, if you actually have to pick them yourself. The external and internal port, which on each profile, so if I did 7777, I would do both. And then this is the IP of your computer, which you already have seen right here, which is this IP. It's going to be different for you, prop most likely. And we can put that IP address there. And then that's all we need. And then you can just press OK. But I made two. So I made both route to my internal IP address on both ports internally and externally. So I have two of those. And I saved and I exited out of my router. So after you do that, um, your, this is probably still not going to be done yet. So I'll be back when the server is done downloading. OK, it's all done. So if you didn't have, if you didn't do the mod like I did, it would uh, probably just say finish upgrade process, some other stuff, finish server update, new server version is true. Um, if not, you, it'll have this as well. But um, yeah. But it should say finished upgrade process at the end, and that Steam window should have uh, closed, and it should have been done committing or verifying the server files. So once you're done with that, you can actually just X out of this. And right now it says installed version 0.0. .0. Now it doesn't say anything until the server is started, as you can see when I hover over. It says will not update until server is started. So we're going to go ahead and start this. Now, if you get this profile validation, don't worry. This does, I don't know why this does this, but it still works fine. So it just says the mod couldn't be retrieved from Steam. Uh, this could cause problems. I just say yes. I haven't had any problems doing the mods that way. So if you don't feel comfortable doing it, you don't have to do it. But honestly, I have no problems with it. So once you start this, it will come down to this PID and it might take a minute to, I've had this take up to 700 seconds before, which is like around, it's almost like 10 minutes, but that was once, but usually this goes pretty quick. Like look, Primal Game Data took 28 seconds. I've had this take way longer. I've had it take like 300 seconds before, so, which is like five minutes. So if you're not getting anything, just keep it up for like another 10 minutes. You should be fine. But as you can see, once the server fully starts, you should see the number of cores of your CPU, which is eight for me, probably maybe four for you, don't know. Um, might be eight for you as well, but it's gonna say the number of cores of your CPU. So once that's done, you can see, I just moved the window, I don't know if that helped, but it says 320.38. For the installed version so once I'm done I'm actually gonna just stop this because I usually stop it because it doesn't update the server name it'll make it some like weird arc number so I usually start it once and then start it again but uh, while we're sitting here with it off I actually want to go to Steam and if you go to Steam and go to view servers um, Right now, if I go to my favorites, I have a server at 116 or 172, 172.16.1.254. Now, this is the one I play on with my friends, but since it's the exact same IP address that I'm going to be hosting it from, I don't have to do it. So, I'm actually going to just delete this and remove server from favorites. And let's add a server. So if I add a server, I want to do the IP of your computer. Now, 
this is the part which differs from yourself and from your friends. So when you're doing yourself, I would connect locally because why not? Why would you want to collect, connect through your public IP address? It doesn't it make sense. And I don't even think it works. I've tried and it doesn't, doesn't show for me. You can see the server, but you can't connect. So just don't even do it. Just do it locally. So um, so you know, IP config. That's your IP address, so we're going to use that address. Literally just put it right here. Boom. And just say add this game address to your favorites. And if I refresh, it's going to say not responding because it's not on. But let's go ahead and... Oh, these are those errors from the workshop earlier. I didn't see them. Okay. <clears throat> so once we go back to ARC... We're going to do start again. OK, and also, if your friend is joining you, there's a public IP up here. I backspace mine out so I don't have to edit it out. I just I just uh, backspace it out. So there's going to be a public IP here. That's going to be what your friends use to connect to your server because they're not at your house locally and they're not connected locally to your server. So they're not going to be able to access it from your local IP. So you're going to want to use the IP that comes up here and if it's not here, you can just hit this refresh and it should propagate here again. Um, if not, you can go what's my uh, in your browser and you should find your public IP, but it should be here. But yeah, once you have that, give that to your friends and they can do the same exact thing on Steam. Um, oops. They can do the same exact thing, just add a server, put that IP instead and add that to your favorites. Now, once we're done with that, let's do start server. And if you get this, remember, don't worry about the profile validation. And once we're here, we're going to go ahead and do the whole update, or sorry, the whole server start again. And we should be good. And also, for those, I'm going to put this off screen, in your administration, uh, settings down here there are a couple things that you can do like wait, where were they enable cross play and all that I think you need to do it when it's not online or I don't know if these are just not here anymore but you should be able to use command arguments I think I have a, I have a video on it that uh, you can go to my channel it's it's one about cross play if you want to uh, enable that but for now I'm not gonna do that <clears throat> I'm just gonna wait till this launches so as you can see the server test one has successfully started that's the actual name last time it was like hashtag arc and it said some weird number at the end that's why I started again because I think it keeps that name when you're on arc so test one number of cores is eight that means it's fully started so I'm gonna put those off screen and I'm going to launch ARC. And let me go. If I go here and refresh, as you can see, test one is now open. Now I would go on to, I would do this favorites, not connect through here because I've had problems with it. The best way to do it is add it to your favorites and then come on to arc and join from there because your favorites show up in your favorites tab from steam so if i go to join arc and what you want to do is auto favorite played sessions um you don't have to do that but i don't really play on uh official servers so i kind of just keep it there and also my session fil filter is my favorites and if you refresh you should get the island so it, um, it, it'll have gray on, it'll be grayed out on the join button. You kind of have to just click it, even though it looks like it's highlighted, you have to click it and then join. And then um, mine is test one for the actual password. So once we have that, we can just put in password and we should connect fine.
Let's go to West Zone 3. All right, and looks good. Um, yeah, so if you have any questions, just throw it down in the comments. Um, I'll put the link to the crossplay video in the description, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.